Welcome guys and welcome to the vlog. I know I haven't made some videos uh, lately, but um, I found some stuff at the GameStop dumpster. I'm going to be showing this stuff on my good finds um, on my other channel called Real Slam Shady. Number one, uh, that's my gaming channel So here on YouTube. So if you haven't, go ahead and subscribe, smack that like button, comment down below, and hit that bell notification down below. And I'm going to show you guys the stuff that I found at GameStop. There's literally a bunch of shit right here I found at GameStop. And this stuff is... I literally brought these bags home. Oh my god, there is a freaking Pokemon card. Oh my god. Now the thing is, I don't collect Pokemon cards, but... It's actually pretty cool. GameStop actually threw a fucking Pokemon card away. Huh. It's crazy. Put that up there. Oh my god, I think there's more. Holy shit. Freaking bunch of freaking Pokemon cards. I mean, I'm not really a Pokemon fan. I don't really care about Pokemon that much. I'm not really into anime or just any of this stuff. But I have a bunch of Pokemon cards. Because a lot of people throw them away all the time for some random reason. So, um... Someone literally just threw away freaking ladders. What the hell? They're literally just freaking ladders. Huh. Crazy. And I'm literally not making this up. I found this stuff right in the dumpster. Oh my god, staples. Staples. That's actually pretty useful. Put that up there. Um. Oh my god, more Pokemon cards. Oh my god. And that's like a holographic one. Damn, these are some good ass Pokemon cards. And they're not like trashy ass ones. These are actually all freaking um, like legendary ones or some shit. But these are all like the new ones, but like, you know, I mean, they're still good. And those don't have any money on it, so I already know that. Oh my god, again, a whole row of freaking stickers things. Those are pretty, actually pretty useful. Like if I was selling stuff in a yard sale or something. And that's pretty useful. You could use it for quarters. I try not to keep everything, but like, you know, I mean, if there's a few things... Which I don't know why they printed those out. Like, I thought they were like coupons or some shit. Oh my god. An anime CD thing. Oh my god, the CD's actually in there. Huh. It's pretty cool. Some anime CD thing. With some type of music or something. I don't know what that is. Oh my god, a freaking game. Damn, I thought that game over there was just the only game I found. I found an NBA... Let me get it out of here. NBA 2K17, which I, I think I already have this game, if I'm not mistaken. But now I own a second version. Damn, there's actually some good shit in this freaking bag. What the fuck is that? Just plastic. Oh my god, PlayStation Plus. There's no games, or there's no money on it. Oh my god, an SD card. I don't know what good that would do, but it's 30 gigabytes. I don't know what I'll use it for, but I'm pretty sure that came out of someone's phone. And what the heck is this? Some type of weird little stress ball, little toy thing. That's weird. And then like a cleaning cloth, and then one of these tabs. I guess that's pretty useful. Oh my god, more Pokemon cards. Damn, and these are all brand new. They feel brand new. Like, they're all good Pokemon cards, too. They're not the crappy-ass ones. And if you guys want these codes, they're for like online playing or whatever. There's a code right there for you guys. And there's a code right there. And that one, I think I just showed you guys. And then there's this one. Freeze it, and I think you'll get, go on to Pokemon.com or whatever to redeem it. And I think you'll unlock a, a Pokemon character. I'm not really for sure. But yeah. Oh my god, there's a brand new Poke there's a brand new um GameStop gift card that added the GameStop gift card wall. That's pretty cool. <clears throat> More freaking cards. Magic the Gathering. Now Magic the Gathering, I don't I don't really fuck with those cards, but I really don't. Um but there's literally just everything in here. I'll save that. Okay. Oh my god, a Nintendo Switch cloth. 
That's pretty cool. Let's see what else is in here. Is there actually anything in there? Now those are pretty useful if you're like saving cords or whatever and you need to wrap them up. That's pretty useful. What is this? An art book? Well, that's pretty cool. It's some type of art book for this game or whatever. Huh. Sega art book. That's pretty cool. There's a Nintendo cloth for your Nintendo. Eh. Uh, GameStop post-it note things. I don't know if those are actually really useful or not, but I'm going to hold on to them. Anyways, oh my god, more freaking Magic the Gathering. I don't collect Magic the Gathering, so I'll probably just give them to somebody, like a friend of mine or something. Not really for sure, but I don't collect Magic the Gathering, so I don't know. This bag actually turned out to be pretty good, and the rest of it's trash. That turned out to actually be really good. Now, I'll go through that off-camera to actually see if there's more stuff in there. But, yeah, that's pretty good. Um, look at all that stuff I just found. And all that stuff over there, I kind of went through a bag and already grabbed it. Now, this is bag number two. And I can't be making this stuff up, like, literally... I used to watch Speedy Diver and his videos and stuff, and that's what encouraged me to start Dumpster Diving GameStop, and I would actually find this stuff, and a lot of people wouldn't believe him, he thought he was making this shit up. Literally, there's a Nintendo Switch case right here. Like, that's the only thing I've ever found that's really Nintendo Switch related. And then a PS5 box, which I only have one of those that I've ever found. Aluminum can, I'm gonna recycle that. Now, there's a freaking Xbox One box in here, but it's not obviously in there, which kind of sucks, but it sucks it's not in here. There's nothing really in here, but, but honestly, I'll probably hold on to it just because I don't own this box. I don't have this box, and this is a Series S, so I don't own that box. And I guess that's all that's really in there. Besides that stuff, that's really all I found. And I'll show you guys, um, I'll show you guys this stuff right here that I actually found. This, I keep on finding these, but they're all like gooey. Like they had the stuff coming out of them. And this game's actually in here. That game's actually in there. So yeah. Um, and there's a gift card. There might be money on it. I highly doubt it. Nintendo Switch, like, stuff, packaging of some sort, and then Nintendo Switch sleeve, and then a, um, Pokemon 3DS case, which the game's not in there, some random, like, silverware or something, plastic silverware, and then just empty, empty, um, freaking um, Empty boxes. That's empty. That's empty. That's empty. And then that. And then this. Yokai watch thing. Little thing. Another GameStop gift card, which I already had that one. And then this box. And then this box. And that's that's pretty much it. And now I got one more, a few more things to show you guys out in the garage. And GameStop's been throwing these away, and I guess they went to these instead of, like, having, like, cardboard or whatever the hell they have. Um, they started making, like, cloth stuff. See, like, they make cloth posters now. And they literally just started doing this. I got the Madden 22 little poster kind of thing. It's like a really cloth, cloth soft material. And then I got the FIFA 22 one. And then, the, um... 
the hit games of 2021 are yours for the playing. Are available now and coming soon. So, like, all these games literally just came out, like, a year ago or a few months ago. So, um, yeah, um, these games I don't even really care about. So, yeah, um, I don't own any of those games that are on that freaking thing. But as you can tell, they all say Xbox are not for, like, Xbox One anymore. See how quick they are to change their consoles so damn quickly. And that's like with the PS4. I don't even think the PS5 is even backwards compatible with the PS4. Or whatever. Or they still... You know what I mean? If they still make games that will... I don't know if the PS5 games will work on a PS4. That's like the whole problem with that whole thing. Because they used to make the PS3 backwards compatible and stuff. Like we could still play PlayStation 1 or 2 games on it. And then when the PS4 came out, I don't... I think it could only play PS4 games. I'm not really for sure. I don't own a PS4 or PS5, but if that was the case, that would really suck because the thing is, I like to I like to play on consoles where they're backwards compatible, so they can also play different games. Because I like playing older games more than the new stuff. Just because my Xbox One, I always have to constantly update it all the time, and I'm just not into the whole new um, console gen kind of thing. Uh, the next console I really want to get is a PS4 because I think it'd be better than the PS than the Xbox One. But I don't know. A lot of people told me that the PS4 does the same thing where you have to constantly update it and update the um, console, and then you got to update the games every time you go to play a game. And I I, I just don't want to play it if if I have to constantly do that. So, and that just takes away that just takes away the fun of actually playing it. For like the P- Xbox One, the ba- Xbox One is backwards compatible with some Xbox 360 games, which I don't really understand that. I think if they're backwards compatible with some games, they should be backwards compatible with all games. But, you know what I mean? I just don't understand that. Like the, like GTA 4 is back, GTA 4 for the Xbox 360 is backwards compatible with Xbox One. But why the fuck is GTA 5 for the Xbox 360 not backwards compatible with Xbox One? Please ask me that question in the comments down below, because I do not know, like what the what the like what the fuck you know what I mean. I don't I just don't understand it. So maybe somebody else can explain it to me. Why in the hell GTA Five is not backwards compatible with, or the Xbox One ain't backwards compatible with GTA Five for the 360. Well, I'm gonna end this video. Hope you all enjoy. Smack that like button. Yada, yada, yada. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.